Mary from Egypt experienced inconceivable loss when her husband and unborn baby were killed by a suicide bombing at St Mark's Cathedral in Alexandria on Palm Sunday 2017. But despite her unimaginable pain, she is starting to find joy again. My husband Kareem was a wonderful man. He lived a normal life. But, but his heart, heart was in, in heaven. heaven. He, he told, told me, me once that, that I, would I would be the wife of a martyr, but I didn't believe him. He was 43 when he died. We were, we were holding hands just outside the church when the, when the blast went off. I was lifted into the air and thrown to the ground. I was aware of going to the hospital. I was two and a half months pregnant at the time, but I had to have six hours of surgery. And, and the baby didn't, didn't survive. survive. Kareem had a brain hemorrhage and the bleeding wouldn't stop. He, he died, died in hospital, hospital after, after nine, nine days. days. They told me I was going to die too, but I didn't. So God must have had a purpose for keeping, keeping me alive. alive. Before Kareem died, he told me, if anything happens to me, I, I want, want you to, to go, go to, to the church, church and, and, serve. and serve. When, when I, I go, go to church, church, I feel a joy that's inexpressible and can't be compared to anything else, even, even spending time, time with my husband. husband. It's the unexplainable joy that can only, only come, come from God. God. Tell someone you, you love how much they mean to you. Choose Joy by ordering your free copy of Joy in the Midst today at sat7uk.org joy.